we're going to use solubility principles to find the chlorine concentration in tap water. Now the tap water we're using today is Lumbee tap water. That's Lumbee, British Columbia, Canada. We placed into a burette a solution of 0.1 molar silver nitrate. Today we're using an indicator, 0.1 molar sodium chromate, Na2CrO4. The principle behind this lab is as follows. The silver nitrate is added to a solution of tap water. The silver preferentially bonds or combines, that is, forms a precipitate with Cl- to form a precipitate of AgCl. What happens is, when all the chlorine ions are used up, the silver will bond with the chromate, producing a reddish-brown solution. So what we try to do is, we titrate very slowly until we see a reddish-brown solution. That will indicate to us an end point. Using the volume of silver nitrate added, the concentration of silver nitrate, and the volume, in this case 100 mils of water, we can find the concentration of the Cl minus. Now remember, we're using the net ionic equation. In this case, AgCl solid is in equilibrium with Ag plus ions and Cl minus ions. What we're going to do is first, we'll add approximately 2 mils of indicator. You'll notice the yellow solution. What we'll do now is we'll titrate. Now, it's very important before we begin to record the initial volume on the burette. Now, the initial reading on the burette is 0 0.8 mils. 0 0.8 mils. It's also important and a good habit to place a white piece of paper underneath. That will allow us to see the color change more clearly. Let's just get a piece now. So we'll place some paper underneath, and that'll just allow us to see the change in color more visibly. Now what we want to do is we want to slowly add the silver nitrate, and we'll just turn the opening valve here really slowly, and you'll notice initially we have a reddish brown solution. What we got to do is we got to stir. Notice it disappears. What we do now is add dropwise until the reddish brown color doesn't disappear. Now the date today is July 1st, Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Now we slowly add. Now what I've done is I've set the valve so it adds it very slowly. Now you'll notice we still have a solution and it's yellowing. Now what we do is, now that drop has been added, you'll notice the solution turned a slight brownish color. Let's just go white background here. 
you'll notice it's a slight brown color. We've now reached the end point of our titration. You'll notice that we didn't require a lot of silver nitrate. What we could have done is diluted the silver nitrate. That would require a greater volume of silver nitrate to be added, but in the end, the moles used would still be the same. Now the final volume reading is 1.4 mils. 1.4 mils. Using the final minus the initial, we can calculate the volume of silver nitrate added. Now remember, at the end of the lab, I'll show you a data table with the results. We're going to do it again. It's a good habit when doing a titration to do it more than once. What if I measured wrong? What if I didn't shut it off in time? What if my sample was accidentally switched? You never know what happens in a laboratory. We always like to do it one, two, even three times. Today we'll do two runs, but I'll provide you with enough data for three trials. What you'll do is find the moles of silver used. Using the moles of silver used, calculate the moles of chlorine, and consequently, the concentration of the chlorine in your unknown sample. Remember, before we begin, we must record the starting volume. If you remember, we ended off at 1.4. So our new starting, our initial silver nitrate volume is 1.4 mils. Now we place a piece of paper under, and we'll add. get that last drop. You'll notice now we have a reddish brown color. The original color was approximately this yellow color. And we'll show you in a moment. Now we record the final volume. 2.0 mils. Final burette reading for trial 2. 2.0 mils. You'll notice the color, and this was approximately the starting color, a yellowish color, and the final color being a light red-brown. Notice the red-brown color did not disappear. Now using the results that I give to you in the data table, I'd like you to find the concentration of chlorine in our water sample today.